It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 200. <laughs> yeah, baby. This I is didn't your know host. if I should say no, it. I wanted you to say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, Tracy Carnazzo. I'm your host. I'm a comedian. And then there's Noel. She's over there. She's uh, Winters Herzog. Yeah, that's me. That's that's who I am. Noel Winters Herzog. That's it. Noel. 200. Episode 200. 200. I don't want to do this anymore. I know. I'm I'm tired, Tracy. Can you imagine? So we have like 123 episodes of uh, 90 Day Fiance. Right. We have 200 episodes of Teen Mom. Mm-hmm. So that's 323 episodes of that. Yeah. There's like 200 bonus episodes. So that's like yeah. 500 something, 520 yeah. something. Then there's five episodes of Catfish. This is like 530 something. Yeah. Then we have 16 and Pregnant. Like all the... <laughs> All the accoutrement, right? Sixteen and pregnant, self quarantine. Do we retire self- now? Probably not, like just quite yet. I think we retire when the shows retire. I think that we should maybe look into buying some property, maybe like a small trailer off the coast of Florida. I was gonna say what in like Fort Lauderdale yes, or something, but off okay. the co- a trailer on an island, like a little off the coast. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. An island trailer, if you will. I would like an island trailer. I would like. Uh, air conditioning though I would like air conditioning I would like all of my holes filled all of the cracks filled so no bugs would get in okay I'm gonna actually uh we're scratching all of that we're moving to Alaska oh okay well yeah but I would be cold there yeah but we'll put the heat on and there's no bugs oh there is no bugs but I feel like there's scary like sea creatures are you is in there? the ocean what, I don't what know you s- swim a lot <laughs> <laughs> on a glacier <laughs> All right, we need to focus. That's this like is that episode- girl on TikTok. She's from Paul Paul for Ireland. Oh, yes, I, love I like her. that. She lives in the her. North Pole, though. Mm-hmm. And she carries a shotgun for the polar bears because they attack. Okay, but they wouldn't attack me. Oh, because you're polar bear proof. Yes. Right, guys, oh. remember, shark proof. She's reptile proof. <laughs> okay, also, before Snake we start proof. the episode, one more thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know that um, there was a video on TikTok? It was like a viral video. Some woman, there was a, a bear that came like in her backyard. She hit it. And it was going after her. She had like 25 dogs. Mm-hmm. And she came in and she like punched the bear off of the side of her fence. And Listen, fell down. if it came to my dogs, I would have punched the bear in the face too. I, like, was like, I yeah. saw that. And I was like, look at that tough broad. Yeah, but I could have done that. I probably could have just been like, come on, guy. Right. You would have been like everything's okay do you want a snacky <laughs> let me take out my bear treats i think anyway. i have some pudding for when noel comes over <laughs> want do you some? want some pudding <laughs> teen mom 2 season 10 episode 23 so sorry about that little side note guys um <laughs> exciting stuff is happening here very exciting stuff i actually can't wait till next week but before that Mm-hmm. ABC tonight the bachelorette is back Katie's journey to find love begins and the drama starts night one when one man arrives in a box in a box who is this mystery man is he part in the pun the whole package and the biggest question of all have we seen him on a season of the bachelorette before and this mm. season our bachelorette has two friends on the inside bachelor nation fan favorites stepping in to help make sure Katie knows who's there for the right reasons and who should take a moment and say their goodbyes. The Bachelorette premieres tonight, 8, 7 Central on ABC. Awesome. Also, guys. Yeah. We just talked a lot about how many episodes we have. If you are interested in more episodes, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for so many things. And don't forget our brand new podcast, Catfish Trash Talk, which is available everywhere you listen to podcasts. It's free. 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 Mm-hmm. Just free. check that out. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's start off with my favorite. Jade. <laughs> Jade. Jade. I can't wait till next week. I can't wait till next week. I can't wait till next week. I can't wait till next week for so many reasons, but they're all because of Jade. Yes. Correct. Yes. Uh-huh. So um, her and Sean, I, I know that you're going to be surprised on how we started this episode. Okay. Tell me. Her and Sean are doing really well. Mm-hmm. And Sean's been really helping out watching Chloe. Okay, so remember last season when he like flipped out because he was tired of watching Chloe? Okay, so (laughs) her and Sean are doing really well. Mm -hmm. Cut to the scene where the cops are there. Right. And Sean has a gun. 
And he's like breaking all the windows. <laughs> and he's breaking the all the windows. Uh-huh. She's like, Sean and I are doing really well now. And he's not pressuring her for an answer because the answer is no. That's why he knows not to ask. You know, you have to have more of um, less of a cluster of diamonds <laughs> and more of a solid piece of diamond. Tracy is very triggered by the chip witch. She is. She is <laughs> very know. triggered. I know. But like, I'm not that triggered. I'm more triggered by just like Sean. I'm just I don't I just don't think he's well. Yeah, he's not well. But also yeah. Jade isn't the best. So, Although in her confessional and her hair is lightening up, looks much better. I, agree I need with her you. hair light. So she's having surgery in Miami later this week. She's having a BBL, the most dangerous mm-hmm. procedure, plastic surgery procedure that you could have. It has a one percent mortality rate, which when my doctor told me that I was like, oh, that's not even bad. Yeah. And he was like, hi, are you dumb? Yeah. He's like, do you know about math? And I was like, mm, not really. When I took my math theory class, it was mostly writing papers, but I did get an A. <laughs> he was like, OK, so let's see. One percent means yeah. that one out of 100 people die dead. See, in my mind, it's like one in a million. Right. right. But that's in my. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's in my mind. I'm like, it's not going to be me. I know Kanye West's mother died from botched surgery. She died right. during a surgery. I wonder if it was a BBL. I swear. I think about this. Yeah, it's the mm-hmm. most, it's the scariest thing. So now Scary. she thought, I love how she explains why she wants this. Uh-huh. Because Coming. this sounds like me. <laughs> she goes, you know, I just thought I would have had bigger boobs. Mm-hmm. What yeah. does that mean? She thought she would have been curvier. She thought she would have. Had, she thought she would am- grow into it. What is that? <laughs> what does mean? that mean? Grow into what? <laughs> what does that mean? I okay, don't know. I will tell you though. I have always thought that things would be different with me as well. You did. I, I thought that I would have bigger boobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought I would be very wealthy. Uh huh. Same. Yes. I need a a BBW. A big bad wallet makeover big bad wolf i thought you were gonna say no, i need i need a <laughs> um what's it called a brazilian butt wallet yeah okay i'll take a butt wallet <laughs> <laughs> but like you just thought you would have had bigger boobs i don't know listen when you're younger and you look in the mirror right i remember mm-hmm. being like chubby when i was younger and i would like fold my face back and be like yes. this is the face of a skinny girl and i'm gonna be skinny one day and like and there you go it but happens. i never thought i'm gonna be a skinny girl but i'm gonna have giant jugs too I'm gonna have you know giant cans and i'm gonna have um the hip to waist ratio of an alien right right because that's what's gonna happen you i've always it. thought that i um I thought I was going to develop. I did. I like had all of my hope in it. Uh huh. And then like seventh grade, you know, people started getting boobs and it was just, I was not my turn yet. (laughs) You're like, I'm going to develop later. Yeah. I was like, it's okay. I'm going to develop later. And it's just going to be ridiculous when it happens. Right. And then I was like in high school (laughs) and I'm like, it's coming any day now. And then like junior year of college, I was like, I feel like it might not happen. Right. And then that's when you realize when did you realize it? That it was never going to happen. Yeah. I feel like my mom would tell me like, Tracy, it's OK. It's going to happen. Uh huh. Yep. And nope. So maybe you realized it like a week ago. <laughs> I mean, I'm 37 now. I don't know if there's still hope. You never know. Listen, you I feel like I'm getting know. taller. Do you? No. Interesting. I was going to say, I feel like I'm getting shorter. Oh my God. Are you shrinking already? You're not, I don't know. I feel like it happens. It's probably just my terrible posture. You need better posture. What, what could we do? Maybe we need to tie you to a board. I mean, I don't really want to be like waterboarded. I'm not sure what that is. I know it's bad. (laughs) Waterboarded is when they tie you up and they drop little droplets of water on you. It's, it's a war torture. Yeah. Isn't that like, yes. Water torture. I thought that's what it was called. Yeah, it's waterboarded. Let's see. Well, I oh, they also have these things that you put on. It's like straps and it's supposed to keep like your back I had straight. that, but it doesn't really work because why are we wearing this all day? But long? doesn't it hurt though? Like no. your shoulders? No, I it doesn't remind your shoulders. You. Okay, so waterboarding is the practice of causing a person to suffer a physical and psychological sensation similar to that of drowning by strapping them head down on a sloping board with the mouth and nose covered while water is poured over their face, typically in order to coerce them into corporate to oh to cooperate in an interrogation 
Okay, I would cooperate for if you the did that to is, me. Yes, the practice is classed as torture by some groups. Um, you're not afraid of that. I'm afraid of that. I'd be like, do you know that I was on the swim team? Yeah, right. Do you know that Tracy's a fish? Self waterboard me. I'm a dolphin. Yeah, you are though. I'm you're half mammal. Swimmer. I'm half mammal, <laughs> half aquatic. See, I don't go past oh. like what is it, the doggy paddle? So like, I'm a turtle, I'm baby. <laughs> I'm a sea turtle. Yeah, you wouldn't be scared. I'd be scared. Go ahead, drown me. No, don't drown me. Don't. You can't. Please don't. You can't. I'm waterproof. <laughs> she has gills. I'm looking <laughs> at them now. They're flapping in the wind. Sorry about that. It was just I was trying to stretch. <laughs> uh, so Brianna thought Brianna. Um, Jade thought she was gonna have bigger boobs, and Brianna. She's like, yeah. And I called Brianna. Brianna told me to do it. Oh, okay. Brianna, who mm-hmm. uh, almost bled out like four times. Okay, cool. What else? Brianna, that looks like she's wearing a diaper indefinitely. You should but, take but, advice from her. Okay, but also forget that. She, yeah. Her and Brittany almost bled out. Yeah, that's so scary. And mm-hmm. then they did it again. Right. That's what, They went for a second round. Oh, my God. All right. So uh, she said it's going to make her happy. Let me tell you a secret. Mm-hmm. Everything that we do yeah. is going to make us happy, like all these superficial things, mm-hmm. and it never does. No, of course it never. I spend so much money thinking it'll make me happy. Yes. It does it. It's nice temporarily. Do you, ever, do you ever like think like if I just had this, I would yeah. be happy? Yeah. I remember when I was like in eighth grade after I realized the breasts aren't coming. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all I need to make me happy is a blue beeper. Yes. A blue clear beeper, a pair of silver Oakleys. Mm-hmm. And like a pair of Jenko jeans. Yeah. I was like, this will complete my look mm-hmm. and I'll be happy. I still get, I like never that, got them though. You didn't get any of them. I got, well, eventually. Yeah. But I like, say, I, didn't you get, definitely I never had the beeper. I did had the beeper. I never got the Oakley's. Interesting. I had Oakley's, but I thought they were so lame. I tried to convince my parents. They were like $300. The ones I wanted. I wanted the ones that looked like alien eyes. Yeah. I stole a pair from Anthony Rinaldi. Actually, Ooh. that's why I had them. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I wanted them because uh, I tried to convince my parents that it was for my sporting because I was a snowboarder. Oh, that's right. Okay. So she's a fish. She's a snowboarder. Uh-huh. All she's, different uh, climates. She does all of the climates, except for the heat. She doesn't really dig the heat. <laughs> I don't dig the heat. I'm more like, it's more like a triathlon every day at my house. <laughs> what would be a hot sport? I don't know what would a hot sport would the be. The Summer Olympics? They run. Yeah, but what happens in there? The swimming, the diving. Yeah, I guess. But I feel like you could do that in the cold, too. Like, yeah, you know, but that's the like, Summer Olympics, though. Yeah, I don't really care about the Summer Olympics because that doesn't involve figure skating. That's true. Even though you could probably figure, figure skate. Like you're doing outside. <laughs> that's true. They really need to stop. You know how, like, we're not supposed to gender people and things? Yeah. We need to stop summering and wintering things. That's right. You know what, Tracy? Thank you. A right. Thank you're you. right, girl. When I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Um, so let's see. What are some of the um, archery, uh-huh. swimming, badminton, baseball, basketball, boxing? Boxing is a summer sport. Very interesting. I could get beat up in any climate. I don't know why it has to be summertime. <laughs> handball. <laughs> handball? What are they at the schoolyard? Yeah. Really, I was going to say we were playing handball at like four. They're filming. <laughs> they're filming at the schoolyard over there. Uh, volleyball. Uh, triathlon, mm-hmm. which is what I really do a lot. Um, right. Surfing, sailing, rowing. Okay, I could see where the rowing. Yeah, that would be I could see. And sailing. Judo and karate. Fencing. Okay, well. Uh, okay, those are nowhere near as good as the Olympics. We need to stop, we need to stop summer sports. and wintering. We need to stop seasoning things. We do need to stop seasoning things except for chicken. <laughs> Always season your chicken. Always season your chicken, guys. And pat it dry before searing it. Okay, let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> Not a HelloFresh ad, but HelloFresh <laughs> did remind me of that, and it really changes the game. Okay, it does, though. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We're really, we are drifting today. <laughs> okay, no, people are going to say it's like a fever dream, but I like those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she FaceTimes with Brianna. Brianna is eating dinner, a full dinner on her bed, while mm-hmm. Stella's like, Mommy, me? And she's like, shut up. I'm eating fi- a five-course dinner. <laughs> On my bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, So let me tell you who's coming to Jade's BBL. It's like it's Disneyland. It's a whole crew. Tell me. Her mom, her dad, her Mm -hmm. best friend, Kelsey, 
her son Tupac Shakur, mm-hmm. Chloe, the mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. What about and grandma Sean. and grandpa and Sean? Here's the thing. I would be like, Sean, you have to stay home and with watch Chloe, Chloe because Chloe's going to flip out. If she sees me in pain, she's going to want to jump right. on me. She's going to want to pull it, my drains. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's going to want to tug them. Yes, just like Angela's boobs on yep. 90 Day. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would be like, Chloe has okay, to Okay, but stay now home. who's... So Sean's staying home. Who's taking care of her? Kelsey. I would okay. never trust Christy. You know what I would do? What? If I had... Or I'd enough, pay a nurse. I'd pay a nurse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, you are a nurse. I'm going to stay in like one of those hotel things where yes. they take care of you. Which is what I think Angela and 90 Day should have done too. Yes. Maybe she did though when they didn't show it. You don't know. <laughs> That's sure. I, I like in a case like that, my mom's a nurse. I would have my mom come like you need a nurse for something yes. like that, I think. One hundred percent. So now uh, Brianna is like, oh, are they going to put you to sleep? OK, is that a thing? She's like, oh, God, I hope so. No, but they put you to sleep. She's like, some doctors don't put you to sleep. Maybe for like a tooth pulling. They don't put you to sleep. I don't know. Maybe they have the awake BBLs. I would, I think, I feel like I'd rather do an awake anything than a BBL than a BBL. Yes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so then she says mm-hmm. her mom's going to take care of her because she's a surgical nurse. What? What is that? What does that mean? What? But since when? I mean, listen, did she is get she kicked go- off the board for being stealing all the pills? Well, see, I will tell you that there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of drug use in the medical community. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Do I think that her mom used to be a surgical nurse? No. Question mark. Right. Um, Do I think that she used to clean up the operating room after someone was like slaughtered in there? Yes. Maybe. Do I think she impersonated a nurse for that notepad? Yes. (laughs) Like she had a nurse disguise. (laughs) Which is she's listen. She's not not a surgical nurse, right? She would dress as a sexy nurse for Halloween and go steal the pads from the hospitals. <laughs> well, um, Brianna does feel, quote, 20 times more better about herself. That's good. I'm glad that she feels a lot more better and she liked it at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know what she was eating on her bed, but maybe it was uh, scrimps <laughs> anyway. Brianna is Brianna is uh, she's going to go and check on her and right. Devine Devoin will Devoin. take Nova and Lewis will not take Stella. Right. Because nobody where's Lewis question mark. Nobody knows. No one knows. So now um, she's leaving. Right. Jaden Schroeder right. leaving and mm-hmm. she's super anxious. Now, here's the thing. Do I want a brand new butt and brand new boobs sure. and liposuction? Who doesn't? Yeah. Uh huh. I do. I dream about it. Yeah. Do I want to do it? No, no. Or you might want to do it, but you wouldn't. Am I going to do it? No, No. I have Mm -mm. extremely high anxiety. That is the scariest thing. If you told me that I had to get liposuction for some kind of problem that I had. Sure. And it was like an emergency liposuction. Right. I would wish I was dead. That's terrifying to me. I would rather give someone else liposuction blindly, not knowing how than getting it on myself. Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I could would ra- figure it out on right. someone else. I'd be like, I know how to jab that stick in there. I watch. Yeah, I watch Doctor No No. Watching liposuction is gnarly. That I is know. a different level. I love <laughs> the surgery. Every time I hear that it's lipo, I'm like, all right, well, I'm just gonna look away for a yeah. little while. You have to tap out. <laughs> I have to. Um. So now she's very anxious. How anxious are you though? If you plan the surgery that you don't right? Need? How anxious? You're anxious enough probably to pop some Xanax. Like I think that's how as far right, as far like, as her anxiety really goes. Enough, there's not enough Xanax Mm-mm. to get me to get a BBL. No, you would have to overdose me and revive me after the surgery. Like but there's weeks, just no but other honestly, way. Yeah. After the surgery, I flipped out when I had to get my vaccine. Could you imagine <laughs> if you had to have a BBL? BBL? If right. You, imagine you had to have a, a court mandated BBL. <laughs> right. Uh, just like an emergency liposuction. Do you think that if you got like hit by a car, God forbid, uh huh, and they saw that you got hit, uh huh, they'd be like, oh my God, they hit her ass right off her body. Yes. Yes. somebody called 911 and they rush you in and they have to do a bbl but you don't have enough fat and then they like glance over at me and they're like can we can we harvest 
<laughs> can you though but isn't that like all right is that like a blood transfusion where like if we have a different blood type like it won't work okay I will, will tell I you, reject it <laughs> I definitely think we have the same fat type oh we do we eat we have the same <laughs> diet <laughs> We definitely mine's probably have, a little more sugary than yours, yours is though. Definitely sweeter. Mine's more savory. Mine is more uh-huh. of a cheese fat. You yours is yes. Yours is very lemon juice forward. <laughs> Mine is not. It's an acidic cheese fat, <laughs> and you have more of a sweeter cheese fat. Yes. Uh huh. You would make a good brisket. Mm, <laughs> yes. If we salted you enough. Yeah. Salt uh, me, babe. I'm here. <laughs> Yum. This is like, and I've talked about this on the podcast before. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy. Uh huh. There was a time in Ren and Simpy where um, Ren was going to get his pectoral implants, uh-huh. <laughs> and Stimpy donated the fat from his butt so Ren could get pecs, and they sang a song about it. That sounds great. Yeah, and I think that's like me and you. We're like Ren and Stimpy. Also, she's getting a fat transfer to her breasts. Yeah. Okay. I will tell you. Yeah. That looks really good. But that's what I'm saying. I yes. like that. Okay. I like that the most. So the I thing like that is, way more than an implant. Of course. It's so yeah. much better. And it looks nicer and it's softer. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, I'm still Googling. Um now okay. she's just Google imaging liposuction to torture herself, guys. No, no, no. It's the <laughs> uh I'm just Ren's pecs. <laughs> that's like we were talking about the other day, true life with the mm-hmm. shin implants or the something implants yeah i don't remember oh the the calf yeah implants. the calf Sorry. implants i can't remember what part of the leg it was <laughs> <laughs> um so here wait let's see um there's also a song from the episode it's called ren's oh. pecs if you guys want to uh check it out so ren's you pecs probably is- know it anyway i do <laughs> of course Ren's Pecs is the fifth episode of the third season of the Ren and Stimpy show aired on December 18th, 1993. I remember it like it was yesterday. Wow. After Ren gets picked on by a fat guy with pecs, his dream of pectoral muscles comes true when Stimpy surgically gives his butt fat to Ren's chest after Charles Globe mentions how he got his pecs. They're at the beach, right? Uh-huh. And Stimpy's sitting, reading underneath the umbrella while Ren's walking around the beach trying to get women to notice him. While at first he's successful, a large man with muscles comes in and insults Ren as a little mosquito man and takes his girls away. Stimpy walks up to a sad Ren who tells Stimpy that nobody notices him, but he thinks that if he were to have large pectoral muscles, he might get attention. Charles Globe, a world famous muscle man, arrives on the shore and tells Ren that he doesn't have to work out to get pectoral muscles. He can get pectoral muscles by simply taking fat from one part of his body and implanting it into his chest. However, (laughs) Ren is skinny and he's unable to have any fat. As Mm -hmm. Stimpy is an organ donor, he allows Ren to take his glute cells. Much to a thankful Ren's delight, the surgery proceeds when Ren asks Stimpy to save his brain if he dies. Anyway, I will tell you, this is a sad story at the end of this. Um, I'm just going to show you a picture of Ren after he gets his pecs. Oh, uh uh-huh. What happens is Ren thinks who he is after he gets his pecs. Terrible. And he totally forgets Stimpy. Oh. Would you do that to me? I wouldn't forget you. Thank you. So I'm just saying that's uh, something very reason. similar. I believe I believe happened to SpongeBob. You know, people like to correct me. I think it happened to SpongeBob. What happened too. To him? I remember he's like saw these bodybuilders on the beach and he wanted to be one of them. But he did something to make himself one of them. Like he inflated himself or something and then was like deflated. I just remember something like that. What happening. is with these children's cartoons? I know. I don't know. I like SpongeBob a lot. So, like, I think I watched that one day. It was very good. I, I used to like Spongebob. Stimpy uh, ends up moving to Hollywood after he gets his pet pe- in Does he ever come back? <laughs> I mean, listen. At the end of the episode, probably. This is one of the lines from the song. Uh-huh. It says, I know you've got your pecs now, and, pecs now and gone on to bigger things. But before you go and flex now, there's a cat at home who sings. That each and every day at night, he misses his best friend. And I only need to see you once to make this feeling end. Aww, that's so sad. The house is much too quiet now that I don't hear your voice. And you know that I'd be with you if I only had my choice. But I know that I will smile again when I see your name in lights. And when they talk about you, I'll tell them that I knew you. 
and you were just Ren. Is this an episode of BS or are we doing? I'm sorry. Mom? I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm just no, telling I you love what's going to happen. I think this is great. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be in a, an accident where the only thing gets hurt is my ass that I don't have. Yes. The doctors are going to be like, oh my God, she needs an assiotomy. Right. She lost it. It's an emergency. BBL. She doesn't really have much. She has sloppy skin. She doesn't really have the fat. Though. And they look over at me. They look over it. They and say, they're like, oh my God, she must have gotten hit by the car too. She's very swollen in the belly. <laughs> We need to do an emergency liposuction and then we're side by side. And then the doctors look at each other and they're like with a little light bulb over their head. Ding, 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 ding. They're like, if we could just anyway. All right. Gross. Okay. Sorry, guys. OK, I'm here. Right. I'm here. I'm back. All right. So she's anxious. She um, she won't meet the doctor until the day of the surgery. OK, that's crazy, though. No? Is that weird? I mean, there's so many crazy things that like that's the least crazy. I feel like that's so bananas. Like, has she ever met? She's never met with the doctor? Never. So she's going to get a chin lipo, an arm lipo. This bothers me bad. Why? Because it's going to be sloppy afterwards? No, it's just, ow. Oh, well, you, like you're touching. triggered by upper arms. Yeah, I am not. I don't want someone touching that. She's going to get a front lipo and a back lipo, and then they're going to transfer the fat to butt, hips, and breasts. Okay. And then she'll have three drains coming out of the bottom of her body. And that's where they lost me. That I'm like, drains. What is draining out exactly? Okay. It looks like clear blood. What is it? It's like fluid. Ew. Gross. Gr I'm going to faint. If, if you don't hear from me, I didn't hit mute. I fainted. Okay. Well, guess what? She has a panic disorder and she faints from it sometimes. Okay. I have a panic disorder and I'm fainting right now. Yeah. So you're not getting a BBL. So <laughs> Jade, Jade is her mom's twin. Are you looking at her? Yeah, she is. Just saying. I know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So Sean said that he's going to wipe her butt and it's like, do you think that Javi's ears are like tingling? Like somebody needs me. <laughs> somebody is in Miami <laughs> and they need a butt wipe. Huh. I'm here to save the day. Mm -hmm. So she's going to have a two to three hour surgery okay. and they're going to release her as soon as she's coherent, waking up from surgery. Is that what happens? Yeah, I, I guess know. so. They okay. keep out. And then she'll go right to the Airbnb because Sean said that he doesn't want her to have to be with them when they pick up any of her medications. Mm -hmm. This is foreshadowing, by the uh -huh. way. Uh-huh. I'm just letting you know. And he said that he'll basically run the show. Okay. I'm sure he's going to run the show a little buzzed. Well, <laughs> listen, mm -hmm. are they engaged? We don't know. We're going to find out more in a little bit, but if you're engaged and not quite sure what to do next, mm -hmm. Zola, Zola makes wedding planning easier and less stressful by creating everything that couples need all in one place wedding vendors save the dates invitations free websites registry and more because weddings are coming back yes they are and you're thrilled to celebrate with friends and family but you're not sure where to start there are so many of our listeners that are engaged right now yeah that are going to start planning their weddings now it's so stressful you have a laundry list of things to do you aren't really sure what they even are yes yeah, so true you need someone to guide you through and help you stay on track and that's where zola comes in because there are one million couples already obsessed with zola zola sounds great i'd be obsessed too planning is convenient and it's a blast you can plan your whole wedding right in front of your couch online or in Zola's five-star app. So it's an app or right in front of your computer. Awesome. Weddings are expensive enough. Planning doesn't have to be because all of Zola's tools are completely free to use. Plus, you get free guest addressing and free shipping and returns every single day. That sounds like it could really come in handy. I wish I had that. All right. Well, guess what? Zola yeah. has your back because if you're having a virtual event, you could stream it on the Zola website for free and you could get personalized paper samples to try your Zola out before you buy any kind of invitation. That's awesome. See what all of these five-star reviews are about. Go to Zola.com slash trash talk today and use promo code save 50. That's save five zero to get 50% off your save the dates for peace of mind. You'll receive free change the dates with your purchase. That's Zola Z O L A dot com slash trash talk promo code save 50. Yay. Yay. All right. So we run into each other a little bit here yes. with Brianna. So that's why I'm going to skip over to Brianna. There's some details here that you're going to need for Jade. Okay. All right. So Brianna and Shirley are going to go to Miami to check on Jade. Right. Which is nice. So 
to be honest yeah. with you, this is the most human I've seen Brianna. Brianna's actually really nice to Jade. She's super nice. I see. I don't hate Brianna anymore. No, I, I hate Jade much more than Brianna. Way more. Yep. So now Devoyne is making wings with Nova in a chef coat. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love it. It's so cute. He has a deep fryer right built into his counter, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me. I know. Yum. It's crazy. All right. So now they're going to do some gymnastics games, mm-hmm. fun stuff. And then he's going to podcast with Kale, which is like, dun, dun, dun. So he's going to tell his friends. Right. So he, t- he talks to his friend. He has two to three chains on when he tells his friend. OK, when he tells his friend, I wasn't sure the words that his friends were his friend was saying okay. back. <laughs> I wasn't sure either, but I did put the closed captionings on. And okay. it's, he did say this is going to be the me show, not the Bree show. Okay, I like it. Good for you. I was like, that's good. You should give Sean that line. Maybe you could rap <laughs> about it. So they get to Miami and they meet with Jade. Right. And they have an Airbnb and they're like kind of right like on a lake. Yeah, it looks nice. They go sit right by the water. And Shirley wants to go catch some ducks. I wouldn't want to catch any alligators. I'd be very scared. What do you to mean be that catch ducks? I don't know. Listen, you're going ducking instead She's of fishing? duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's doing she's done like, what, what happens to you <laughs> oh no i don't know so jade just has zero emotion so she walks into the airbnb no. mm-hmm. she says to shirley hi nice to meet you she does have very nice makeup on though it's nice right it's not orange like usual you like it yeah, I Thanks. like it. <laughs> You're so nice. You also look dead in the face like her when you do That's, it. That's but she's yeah, she has no I know. emotion. And then she tells her that her four carat ring didn't fit her. Right. So, so she asked him to get it sized. Now let's back up here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's back. Four carats. Uh huh. This ring, I saw it. Mm-hmm. It's a craft project. Uh huh. Someone yes. put glue all over a ring. Uh huh. And then rolled it in glitter. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Yes. The the stones are the size of glitter particles. Mm-hmm. Someone but, was making a real ring. Yes. And there were shards of diamond flying off, and they were just catching them. Yeah, it was almost <laughs> like um, what was that show or movie where there was diamond dust in the face cream and they were trying to like make money off the diamond dust oh i've never seen this movie. i don't know guys Uh if you're listening to this and you know what i'm talking about because i don't Uh can you go over to the facebook group uh teen mom trash talk podcast listeners on facebook and please tell me what i'm talking about thank you interesting okay all right so she asked him to get it sized and brianna said you're leading him on rightfully so and Mm -hmm. she's like no i'm not ready to marry him she's like then why tell him to get a ring sized it's so true because you're leading him to believe you're gonna wear it Right, but she's saying she is going to wear it, but she's not going to be engaged to him. Right, but I feel like when you wear an engagement ring, that means yes, basically. I mean, that's what I think. What's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. It's really... She she can't communicate. She cannot. I just think that's what it is. Uh-huh. All right, so now tomorrow at 7 a.m. is her surgery. She's right. never met the doctor. And Brianna said she's going to check on her. So she wants Sean's number. Um, and that's very nice. I like when Jade says she wants to just get shot by a blow dart and have her put them out. I got to tell you, uh-huh. that's exactly how I feel. Me too. Yep. It's like, can you, as soon as I need a surgery <laughs> or you determine that I need a surgery, can you just put me to sleep then? Yes. Right. Like, I don't want to think about it. Just Never. Just put me to sleep right there. Just then. put uh-huh. me to sleep right there. Don't even take me to the hospital. Put me to sleep right now in my house uh-huh. and then you could do whatever. Just gurney me there after that. Right. She's very afraid of the pain, though. I'm very afraid of the pain, but she's not because she's not afraid enough not to do it. Right. Well, that's the thing. At the end of the day, she still wants to do it. She does. I she can't really wait does. to see her floating in the back of the van. Well, Brianna <laughs> has um a very unique family structure. Yes, she does. And this is going to be a very interesting Father's Day. Mm-hmm. But I think that story worth would be such a great gift for Lewis. Divine. And mm-hmm. for Devoin. So do I. Because if there's ever been a year to make the dads in your life feel loved and appreciated on Father's Day, it's this one. Absolutely. That's why Brianna should honor Lewis and Devoin with a heartfelt, sentimental gift the whole family can cherish together forever. Storyworth. Storyworth is great. 
It's an online service that helps your dad, grandfather, father-in-law, and every father figure in your life share stories throughout thought-provoking questions about their memories and personal thoughts. It's a fun new way to engage with them, especially if you can't be together in person like Lewis and Stella. I mean, he's a long haul trucker. He's a cop. He's a welder. He's a DJ. The sushi DJ. He's a sushi. <laughs> he can't be with her. So it would be so nice if he could use StoryWorth. Every week, StoryWorth emails your dad a different story prompt question you've never thought to ask. Like, what's your favorite story about your father? What are the things you're proudest of in life? I love that. StoryWorth has helped numerous families learn about each other in profound, special ways, and their testimonials will practically move you to tears. StoryWorth has already created a powerful experience for Noel. Yes. Um, I gave, I gifted my mother-in-law StoryWorth for yeah. her birthday and I've learned so much about her that I never even would have thought to ask her. Well, there's no shortage of surprises when reading the weekly stories and they make you feel your family like is so much even closer to you, even if you're yeah. not together mm -hmm. after one year. StoryWorth will compile all your dad's stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that's shipped for free. I can't wait to get that book. Right? Mm -hmm. Give your dad the most meaningful gift this Father's Day with StoryWorth. Get started right away with no shipping required by going to StoryWorth.com slash trash talk. You'll get $10 off your first purchase. That's StoryWorth.com slash trash talk for $10 off. Awesome. Well, I think that Leah could use this too. I think it's time for Leah to stop being on my screen. <laughs> I think she should be the next to retire. Yeah, that it's it's I don't dislike her. I just think, you know, nothing's really going on for her anymore. I think her life is great now. It's also time for she, her to move on. So Jeremy gets exposed. Right. And then she gets sick and it's not COVID. It's negative. I know. I was really confused by that. What does she have? Know. Cabbage soup fever? Right, maybe. I mean, listen. I wouldn't put it past her. I would be very sick from cabbage soup, too. <laughs> Me, too. So Leah didn't have COVID. She said that she's right. See, but I can't understand. I don't know if she's testing negative now. Right. I don't know. She's she made it seem like her previous tests were negative and then she was going to test again. I don't know. I don't know. But she says no. Right. So right now she doesn't have COVID and they're out of quarantine. So. Right. But did she have COVID? We don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't think so, though, because she didn't say that she had COVID unless she didn't want to say it on TV for some reason, too, though. So I, I, I don't think Addie got sick either. Yeah, but sometimes kids don't get sick. Right. Because I think it was just Leah that got sick. So the girls are in the car and they're talking to Corey. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. So uh, what the girls in the car are talking to Corey? I mean, really, what what happens so much of the girls? It's every it's the same thing every single episode. It's like, oh, Corey's making fun of the girls. They're getting old. Do you need a walker now? Does your back hurt now? That was pretty you funny. Know, but it's cute. Uh, you know, I think he if he needs to shave so I can't really take him seriously. I yes. think once he shaves, I'll feel better about him. He's never going to. So they had no. their birthday with Corey and now they're going to have their birthday with Leah. They're going right. to have a Zoom party. Mm -hmm. And uh, she also says COVID's really scary because of Allie. I think COVID's really scary in life. I don't know why. Okay, but also she tells child. He tells straight Allie, don't worry about Curly Allie. But then she <laughs> says everyone also worry about Curly Allie. I love that Curly Allie has a red lip. Always has too. a lip. I love it. It's like, I love this kid. She's so sassy. She's like, listen, my mom has all this lip sense product that she had to buy out of pocket. I might uh -huh. as well use it. And Mary Kay from back when she was with Jeremy. She owns her own Mary Kay <laughs> oh business. God, that's right. <laughs> so her Christmas tree is up. Yes. They're going to have their birthday party. Mm -hmm. First, we see Leah's stepdad. There's also mm -hmm. a cat involved. Yes. There's a lot, a lot of, of dancing, a lot of dancing, mm -hmm. a lot of babies only in diapers on uh, the Zoom parties. Tracy, I'm watching this and I'm like, can you put the kid in a onesie? It's on TV. It's on TV. Right. That's why. Because I don't care if it's not. If it's on TV, maybe dress the kid. I'm just saying. So now yeah. 11. Mm -hmm. I love the segues. Why? What that, was that the segue? Mom. <laughs> oh, 11 was hard for me, too. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's like, really? Also, I don't remember when I got my period. I was watching this realizing I don't remember when. I don't remember a lot of things either. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I don't. You. That makes me feel so much better. I don't like have a story. Me either. I don't have a story. Just life happened. Yeah, I don't really know. That was it. Okay. Uh, so Victoria and Leah go to Catfish Park to talk about I was, periods. I wrote that they went to Catfish Park. 
they have to talk about periods. And I like how she's like, so Victoria. Yes. I brought you here today to talk about your period. She's like, when did you start your menstrual She's like, I'm cycle. pregnant right now. What are you talking about? Right. <laughs> I was in Costa Rica last week. I'm pregnant again. They said it was they both had traumatic experiences in third and fourth grade. Third and fourth. That's pretty young. That's okay. young, right? OK, Yeah, I think I was like in seventh grade. Who knows? Me too. Maybe, maybe I still haven't gotten my period. Maybe I'm not there yet. Maybe I haven't yeah. developed. I mean, you never know. I can't wait to get <laughs> boobs. Anyway, <laughs> her school counselor told her what it was. Her mom didn't even tell her what her period was. Right. See, that's crazy to me. So Addie's at her dad's, obviously, because she has to have a talk with the girls. Right. Addie is lives with her dad, I think now. OK, but also haven't we had this talk? Like, I feel like I've talked to the twins about their period. At I feel point. like she talks to them about the same thing over and over and over again. They're like, so shut up, mom. She wants to tell them the story of her first period. Why? They're like. If she has to public speak one more time. Yes. She's like, are you embarrassed about the subject? They're like, no, we're tired of hearing you. Yeah, I'm embarrassed by who you are. Right. <laughs> so she tells them they're going to have mood swings. Mm. And then she also is like, are you guys comfortable talking to mommy? Stop it's calling like, yourself mommy. Stop calling yourself mommy. Right. It's so weird. It's like they're they're like, I don't know. They're little teenagers now. You don't need to refer they're to 11, yourself as relax. mommy. Right. Well, you know. And then she tries to high five them and they're like, all right. What I did love is their mustard colored blanket. I really like that blanket. The one that they were hiding underneath. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Well, while they're on the couch, ABC tonight, nothing says summer's back like a brand new season of The Bachelorette. Katie's journey to find love begins with 30 new men, all hoping to be the one to get her final rose. And the drama starts night one when one of these men arrives. Noelle? In a box. Who is this mystery man? Is he part in the pun, the whole package? Hmm. And the biggest question of all, have we seen him on a season of The Bachelorette before? Hmm. This season, our Bachelorette has two friends on the inside. They are Bachelor Nation fan favorites, and they're stepping in to help make sure Katie knows who's there for the right reasons and who should take a moment and say their goodbyes. No word yet if Katie's got her buzzing bestie with her (laughs) you know that vibrating well anyway if you don't know what i'm talking about look it up will katie find love good vibes and the happy ending she's looking for will the mystery man in a box give her a ring in a box Hmm. join the journey as the new season of the bachelorette premieres tonight eight seven central on abc can't wait me either. Well, speaking of too many men, let's yes. talk about Kale. Seriously. <laughs> so all of the boys are with Natalie. Yes. And she's holding little Creed. He's so cute. He is very cute. And yeah. Lux blows a raspberry at Lincoln. And Isaac is like, this is disgusting <laughs> and inappropriate. Yeah. Mom, stop having kids. I can't Please deal with stop. this. Uh-huh. So now the boys are now with their dad and she's going to go to Atlanta with Lindsay. Right. So I guess that's where Lindsay lives because they're going to do what she does. They're going to do um, an in-person because there's no COVID. Right. No, obviously. So Devoin mm-hmm. comes and <laughs> basically she says that she needs to have Devoin on to give a voice to the voiceless. Uh-huh. Okay. So she's got, why don't you have Chris on too? <laughs> Ooh, I'm just saying that would be I great. Like that mm-hmm. speaking of voiceless. All right. Also, so- I loved her jacket. She had that beige jacket and it had black stars all mm-hmm. over it. Yes, that I was messaged very cute. her and I was like, I love this jacket. And then she sent me the link for it. So Where I is it from? Look at it. Um, it's like an Instagram, mm. uh, an Instagram uh business. I like that. So yeah, it's so cute. I thought it was very cute. I think you need it. Mm-hmm. So- I do need it. Lindsay asked Devoin, she's like, is this going to be an issue when we have you on the podcast? And he's like, like no, she's like, no, I mean, for me. And he's like, uh, no. nobody even knows who you are. Nobody cares. So we find out his name is Devoin, obviously. And he says that he cannot blame Brianna for everyone calling him Devin. He's never corrected anyone. Right. Well, I think. Okay, I understand this. I've been called Nicole my whole life. Yes, and you just go and with it. After a while, I just go with it. I just answer to it. I'm not going to stop people, people anymore. S- mostly spell my name wrong and they spell your name wrong too. Yeah, and it's like whatever. T-R-A-C-Y, it's not how you spell my name. N-O-E-L, that's not how you spell your name. No, but it's uh, like, after a while, whatever. 
Yeah, I know. Okay. It's like I answer to Stacy. I answer to Teresa. I answer to you a lot are of Stacy a lot too. Yeah, Whatever. I just go uh-huh. with it. I don't care. Also, Kale doesn't put her mic anywhere near her mouth. I know. None of, I, none of them do. I know. It's really weird. And then people complain like, oh, we can't hear you. And it's like, well, maybe just like you need to blow the microphone. You just need you to do. You mm-hmm. need to keep it very, very close to your mouth. So now um, he explains that him and Brianna met on social media in high school. And then she was pregnant four months into their relationship. So I didn't know that he was from Michigan. And I didn't know. I thought that they like met in school together. I had no idea. I don't remember any of it. No, I mean, they were just together. I don't think that they really ever told a backstory. I think I made up that backstory, but I did. I do remember she had very short hair and it was very, very short cute hair. on her. So cute. Mm-hmm. So he said that he really likes to cook and Nova doesn't really cook a lot with him because she has no attention span. What kid does really? Um. So then we talk about the issue where he forgot to pick up Nova. But I like that he owns up he's to like, it. Like I forgot. He forgot. Yeah. You, he's like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I forgot. Right. And I, I think that that's like a really honest side of parenthood. I think that a lot of people are too afraid to m- admit something like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like when my friends are like, no, I love my kids. And I'm like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Cool. Yep. Whatever. Call me when you could be honest. Uh-huh. That we could be real friends. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that a lot of his friends have kids. Most of his friends have kids and they're around the same age. So which I like. That's good. And he said that the next move is to buy a house. Mm, that I mean, I want that to be my next move too. Maybe we should call Devoin. Um, I read on Instagram that he actually is in a committed relationship. Okay. And he lives with his girlfriend. Right. Uh, but they but they don't show that for some reason. They show him like with a roommate. I feel right. like the last time we heard it was he had a roommate. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, I don't remember, but I know that they never talk about him having a girlfriend ever. Right. And yeah. he's, uh, he's kind of like annoyed about that. I would he be films too. with her because he films with her and they just never show it. That's weird to me. That's it's like they're trying to paint a narrative. I mean, exactly. as usual. Yeah, exactly. So now I think that's a big problem. But so Ashley and Barr right now have bigger problems. And I think that better help online counseling would be the best way, especially since Barr has an ankle monitor. Right. He can do it right from the comfort of his own home, the comfort of his own home. He could do it from an Uber Mm -hmm. because you can text, you can voice chat or you can video chat with a licensed professional counselor who they specialize in all different things. Right. This is not self-help. This is real licensed professional counselors and everything that you share with them is confidential. This is the most convenient way to do therapy. Mm hmm. BetterHelp, they facilitate great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. You just press a button. If you have a meeting with your counselor and you don't like them, Mm -hmm. you click change counselor. You don't have to have a long talk with them. I did that. Yeah. Yep. It's nice. It was so easy. You don't have to explain yourself. You just change. Click. It is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. This is just the best way to do counseling. And in fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash trash talk. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash trash talk. Let's talk about um, Ashley and Barr. Okay. Uh, They're in the car with Holly. (laughs) Holly's like, excuse me, sir. (laughs) May I have an extra bite of some sweets that you have up there? Well, she has her master's in English. She does. (laughs) And they realize that they've given her all the chocolate. Yes. And then they look back at her. And I Ashley says to her, I think it was Ashley or Bar. How do you get chocolate everywhere, bro? Ashley, she calls her bro. It's very funny. I thought that was so funny. Me too. I was like, this is why this kid speaks like this, because they speak to this child like an adult, uh-huh. like how I speak to children. Right. They're not like, Holly, what did you do? It's like, what happened, bro? boo-boo, yum-yum? Uh-huh. Yum? <laughs> like, they don't talk to me, uh, talk to her how you talk to me. Yes, exactly. I talk to you like a baby. Yes. Uh-huh. I They're do. like, bro, <laughs> get your shit together. They talk to you how you talk to me. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Bar has on the most colorful leather jacket. Well, like because I've ever seen. he's pretending that he's in a race car because he cannot drive. Well, that's true. Right. You're right. Mm-hmm. And Ashley says he's going to have to really learn the bus schedule. 
I love that. Good for her. I like her more and more every day. Me too. So Boar, Boar, <laughs> Boar's court date, Bar's court date is tomorrow. Yes. And Ashley said, this is very serious. He's like, oh, it's nothing serious. She's like, no, mm-hmm. this is very serious. She said, you have to go in humbly. And she said that he's not taking it serious because he knows people that are like murderers in jail. So he right. doesn't think what he did is really serious. But it is. He could have no license for a long time. He could be in big trouble. Yeah, it's scary. And she said she feels bad for him because he's young, he's black, and now he's with the courts. Right. I mean, she's not wrong. Not cute. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Ashley and Lipper sit outside to chat. Why do we keep seeing this girl? I don't want to. I don't know. I just don't want to, you know, like the lips, they trigger me. <laughs> they trigger me too. I feel like she had like that. It's it's always like that. The flashback of the lips in it. Oh, lips in it. I like every that. time I look at her, I'm like, oh, my God, that time I dropped my phone on my face when I was in bed. Uh-huh. And you busted and your I lip. busted uh-huh. my lip and I bled everywhere. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's like that. Oh, so, you're right. <laughs> it's been a year since the DWI. And Ashley's like, listen. I cannot relate to his issues. Right. She doesn't do anything. And she is absolutely right. You know, I don't. How many times have you had a man come home and has gotten Mm -hmm. into trouble for something? Have you ever been in that same type of trouble? Not really. No, neither have I. One time. But right. Me too. Maybe like three times, but not like that. (laughs) Uh No, but I mean, it's like she's like you come home and you're like, oh, man, I fucked up. She's like, when do I come home and do that? Like. She's like, mm-hmm. I go to school. I go to work. Like, what do you think I do here? What are you doing? It's true. She's not wrong. Well, he's got his court date. He wants the monitor off. So he takes an Uber over to court. Three right. hours later, he comes back with his bracelet still on. And court is pushed back. Postponed. Isn't that that's the story of court's life, though? Yeah, but that's that's how it goes. It could be like over nothing. And you're waiting for years because it keeps getting postponed. Bro, how many Ubers are you going to make me pay for to go to court? Right, because you know she's paying for the Ubers, too. It's Yeah, but it's so... Oh, so no, annoying. I know. I know. So annoying. Guys, make sure you sign up. Patreon.com slash Trash Talk Podcast. Also, Catfish Trash Talk mm-hmm. available everywhere. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk available everywhere. I'm on Cameo if you need a good Father's Day gift. I do, uh, I do dads very special. She loves a good dad. <laughs> I got you guys. I got you. If you want to send your ex-husband, your baby daddy, <laughs> your father, your stepfather, whatever it is, I got you. Tracy's there for you. Cameo, baby. Also, um, make sure you're leaving us a five-star rating and an amazing review on all of our podcasts. And make sure you're telling a friend. One friend. One friend. It's an exclusive club. This is very, very exclusive. And make sure you're joining our Facebook group. And the password to get in is besties, B-E-S-T-I-E-S. Make sure you answer all of the questions completely and agree to the rules or else you will not be let in. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.